A, B, C in English grammar. A basic course in English grammar based on three D concept by C. N. N. Rao. Conclusion. Well, my dear participants, we have come to end of our session. Before I bid adieu to you, I would like to narrate one incident that forced me to learn English grammar. In my school days, I was not very comfortable with English. It was a Greek and Latin for me. I had no knowledge of grammatical rules. I did not know how to compose sentences of my own. I blindly got by heart answers for questions and reproduced them truthfully in the examinations. This continued until my eighth standard. Things took a sudden turn thereafter. The teacher who taught us English in ninth standard made it clear in very beginning of the academic year that he would award good marks only to those students who attempted answers for questions in their own words and not those that reproduced answers prepared by others. That put us in a fix. We requested the teacher not to press for what he insisted. But the teacher stuck to his stand. He only said that he would not reduce marks. Even if we made mistakes, in our attempt to compose answers in our own words. Composing sentences of our own was a new practice that was suddenly thrust upon us. Perforce, we turned to learning English grammar and practicing compositions of our own. We found it very hard initially, but we got over it while we passing the time. That laid the foundation for my English grammar. Excepting for the great teacher by name I.V.S.R.K. from M.G.H. School, probably I would have continued with my old day habits. I shared my experience only to impress upon you that English grammar, as misconstrued by many, is not very hard. We can learn it easily, provided it is taught to us in a systematic way and we have determination, dedication and discipline to learn it. Learning followed by regular practice is sure to make us stalwarts in the long ways. With English, as a foreign language for me, I learnt it a hard way. I did not want the knowledge that I got after a strenuous effort to remain unexpressed within me. The teacher in me prompted me to part with it to others that are in need of it. I did it to some of the aspirants that sought me help. I have gone for this online course with a view to reach out to many more aspirants that may require my help all over the globe. 
I have introduced to you basic aspects and concepts of English grammar. The rudimentary knowledge that the course has provided for is sufficient for you to start off your journey towards establishing command over English. Please refer to any standard textbook on English grammar and get to know more about the subject. I hope that you have got the benefit intended to be delivered by this course. I shall be very delighted to receive your opinions on content, quality, adequacy, presentation and usefulness of this course on my email. Your feedback will be a spark for me to improve upon the topic further. My next topic to be presented online is Express Yourself the Right Way. This is on written and spoken communication skills. I am very glad you have given me an opportunity to talk to you. I hope I shall meet you again for a talk on my next topic. Knowledge is divine. Preserve it in safe walls of your memory. Safeguard it from being forgotten. Use it for betterment of your career. Share it with those that need it. The more you use your knowledge, the better it will stay with you. I wish you all the best in your future studies. I conclude my speech with another great philosophical quotation. Let noble thoughts flow to us from all directions of the universe. Thank you.